Alright, welcome back everyone to an episode of Morocco! Ooh. Where, as you guys know, we are casually fighting a war against Gasil again. And again, we are basically dominating them again. Except for the fact they did land some troops over here on my little island of Fernando Po. Which isn't really, which is cool and all, but... Oh my goodness, they actually landed troops. Keep up all you guys. Let's go destroy these guys. Yeah, it seems like it seems like they're actually being aggressive, little guys. So we're gonna go teach them a lesson. Yeah, you don't come into my land without without getting some unnecessary hurt. We reverse the siege over here, so now we can bring back some troops over there. Yeah, we're just honestly we own the entire coast of Africa. We are basically the African nation that most likely contacts most of the Europeans. Europe has to go through us before they go through anyone. Why'd you do that, Songhai? You know that was guarded by... Oh, and you leave me right when I need you. Okay, just keep going down. We're just gonna keep going down. Eventually, we'll be able to catch these guys. These guys are in my land. Just in case, I'm gonna go down like that, too. Okay. 25 versus all this. This is a pretty big number. Even if we do have African Nation... Yeah, you guys, you guys are not gonna lose me. I still have. Oh my goodness, they must have gotten a better general role. This isn't good. 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 Yeah, we're gonna win it. We're gonna win this. Just barely. Just because we have more men than they do. Haha. <laughs> okay, anyone else landed in our troops yet? Yeah, there's some more right over here. Okay. You guys want white piece yet? <laughs> oh, let's see. Length of war. Starting demand. Okay. Let's see. Still nothing over here. We can still keep a decent sized army over there. And this is a crusade, may I remind you. So, these guys really, really want to take me down. Like, they really do want me dead. No particular fault of my own. I mean, I'm not really doing anything to them. I'm not destroying their empire. I'm actually staying, like, pretty much... Oh, wait a minute. Can I actually offer them Tangiers? Because, actually, I just remembered that, um... War score, current peace offer, length of war, stealing military secret. Oh, so they, they really do think that they want more out of this. Uh, okay. But You guys... And I bet a couple of you guys are wondering, James, why are you giving up one of your most valuable trade centers right now? Oh, well, it's because that's actually, one, I don't really care about this note because, A, I don't make much money in it, and B, it's kind of a stupid note for me to be in. It's just, this, this note is just not good for my empire. <laughs> so I just don't really care. And B, we need a nation, we need a country right next to us that's a Western power to civilize for us. So, yeah, even though I don't like it, we are going to need the, uh, Castilian might to uh, defeat us in this war. Ugh. It makes me so mad. I mean, we're like getting 19 more more score off of this, and yet, and yet still Castile will be like jerks. Okay, just sit right here. We're gonna combine both these armies because because we're gonna need to to defeat that nine stack. We're gonna need a big army. Of course, Liberian revolts. I'll deal with that in a second. But first, I'll go deal with that siege of Benin. Yeah, you see, they're going to be jerks. Aww. My vassal's trying to fight back. It's, it's cute, but it's like, I, I, I already know, dude. You don't have to spell out how doomed we are if I don't destroy these guys. Okay, go to the Benin. I'm now going to go to the Benin, and I'm basically going to block them up. Because I'm pretty sure they won't go all the way around to try to fight me. And we're just going to wait right here. Oh, shoot, they're gonna go after my other man. Go! Hurry! Hurry! Oh, no! No! My colony! Oh, no, no! Oh, shoot, I went into my colony. Oh, shoot. Uh, you guys. Charge! Da, 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 da. Don't you die! No, man. Just destroy. If you have to kill... If 1,000 of you die, that's fine. <laughs> there we go. That was, that was a good moment right there in, in our history, is the fact I sent in so many men to just destroy one little troop. Okay, have they sent in men yet to the top? Yes, they have. Okay. 
I'm ready to give up the feet. Okay, they are ready to they already ready to admit the feet. I will give you guys tangents. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. You don't have to be all like mad at me anymore. Okay. Yep. And there we go. Now we have our next door neighbor again. Not exactly the most peaceful next door neighbor, I'll give you that. He definitely does like to kill me a lot of the times. Um, gonna break off a little bit of soldiers from this army to make up. There we go. Gonna break up a little bit of soldiers, send them over here to Cameroon, start colonizing this again. Gabon's almost done colonizing, which is so good. So almost good. Okay, now we got 23 of you guys. Uh, there were some Liberian rebels over here. I'm gonna make this a core, by the way. Stomp out all rebels. And. Let's see, it seems like Molly did not become an accepted culture, dang it. Uh, the Songhai are dealing with some little rebellion problems. I'm gonna go help them. Cause I actually need to make sure the Songhai- Ah! You stink, game. You stink. Let's get that three up there. Let's get that cores up there. Yeah, ooh, okay. We're almost there, we'll almost have a stable government. I have to go get that core back real quick. You know, just go through the stupid bloody land, seriously. I may encounter more battles, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure you'll be able to handle it, seriously. Okay. Okay. You bark of the day. You get to go down all the way to here. Start patrolling and then go all the way back up. Should have like two ships? No, seems like they got destroyed. Okay, where am I, uh... You guys are patrolling a ton of snow. Good job. You guys already know what to do. I don't even have to say it. Okay, let's build some more... Let's build some more navy units down here, then. Build, like, three barks. Okay, and we're basically gonna have him patrol this area up here. Okay. Okay, we made it to the capital before it got conquered, and everything's looking peachy and dandy. Let me just reconquer this. For them, for our good vassals right here. Mm -hmm. Let's just get right there. Almost done. Get more idea groups. Yeah, why not? I'm about to. I'm about to have nothing anyway, so we might as well spend as much as we can. Manpower-wise, we are stinking still, but at least we're stinking in a good way. And I do have one free diplo. Um, we are increasing the Ashanti's relationship with us already. The Hansa, you guys could be probably improved a little bit better. Actually, how does the Ottomans like us? Oh, the Ottomans love us, so we don't even have to increase relationships with them. They basically are like, yeah, we like you. Okay, now we got our colonies back. Okay, yeah. I think this is about the good time to start doing what I think we're going to start doing. What I'm basically going to do now is... Oh, gosh dang it. Where is it? Where is the hostile siege? I know there was a hostile siege here somewhere. Pick it up in a second. Let me just go... Like, gain all this. Put all this together. Stop patrolling. Like, all the way up to here. And then back. That's what I want you guys to do. There we go. Now we can, now these guys will gain their full amount of income, which means we're probably gaining more money. More money, yep. And now, whew, we're doing fantastic. This is a good, good place. A sultan's still pretty young, so he'll be with us, hopefully, for a long time. So, mm, soon. It's, it's coming, guys. We are really close to westernizing. Let me just cross the deadlands and just get there. I'm not even really caring. I'm just like, yeah, just, just get it. I do have one colonist. Oh, one of these must have finished. Do you even realize? Okay, that means we have some access over here. Um. You know, I think we should finally finish this colony up right up here, because um, that would actually provide us quicker access. Because this is such a good life constantly fighting against different people. Our vassals need to be able to have free land and not be able to have to, you know, be scared of who's going to be up there. So, 
Yeah, I think we'll go we'll go conquer that little we'll go like make that little part of our land nice and safe for everyone. Um Really wish this Molly culture had converted to us. That would've been nice. That would've been so nice. Cameroon lost. Okay. You wanna be a tough you wanna be a toughie, Cameroon? Try dealing with nine soldiers. I don't even think you guys can fight me over nine soldiers. Yeah. Yeah. And I probably lost the other colony too. But now I got proper soldiers down there, game piety or lose. I'm gonna have to lose it. Okay. There we go. Now we got a good connection to our land, and we're basically at peace. Now we just have to gain enough, uh, a good enough manpower reserve, and then we're basically done, guys. Like, once I get a good manpower reserve, like, um, let's see, what's our maximum manpower reserve? About 30k? We can basically stop building up for a very long time. So yeah, we're just going to, I think what we're going to do is just sit here and relax and not go to war with anyone, not try to do anything stupid, not try to do anything, you know, too out there, just kind of just relax for the next couple months, you know, just kind of sitting here. And I was just kind of sitting on my hands, I know it's kind of a little, little bit there, but let's see. Oof. You basically are ready to vassalize, I remember that while I was looking at you. We just need to keep increasing relationships. And you're almost... Yeah, we should be able to increase relationships enough to where they'll like us. How much army tradition do I have? Wow. I've almost lost almost all my army tradition. I wonder I wonder if it actually starts gaining if I start going negative. Okay. Native uprising. I'm dealing with it. I have good armies on these spots now. There's no way they'll be able to. So let's see. What do I gain? Manpower modifier or two based oh this is actually a pretty hard decision here manpower uh, manpower or two based tax Jane Jane two based tax manpower you know ultimately the better goal is to get the man is to get the tax so let's get the tax that could actually contribute to a better economy overall, which is what we need. And we de de-inflate ourselves for a little bit. Culture accepted, Molly! Yes! Oh yeah! I totally knew that was going to happen. I totally knew that that was going to happen. That was the exact reason why I did not convert any of these provinces. Because I knew that they would be converted to us anyway. So yes, Molly is now accepted. That makes a lot of this so much easier. Makes a lot of this so much easier. Now we can start, like, diplomatically converting all these guys. All these, like, wrong culture groups over here. Because I, I don't think I'll be able to get these guys to be friendly with us. So, we might as well, yeah, like, right here. Yeah, just, just, just get it all. Yeah, because I don't think I'll be able to deal with it. So, let's just get that. Slaves! Oh, great. I uh, really just it's a knife in my it's a knife in my side every time I see that. That's all I gotta say. A knife in my side. Okay, and let's see. To fully reinforce you need 226. Oh we're almost there. Okay, we just need 226, 45. Okay, now we're gonna start gaining manpower. Whew. Takes a long time to start doing this, but let's keep building up stuff that helps us gain manpower faster, training fields. Get all in northern, in our northern land. This is really where I do everything. My northern land's like, this is this is like Morocco proper, if I must be honest. And then this is like an extensions of Morocco. Hmm. And we're gaining colonists at a good rate. It's good. Songhai has now been proved to the utmost. They're still vassals of me, right? Good. Okay, we can uh, Diplo add some in 1558. Okay, they're now just completely happy with us, which is good. Uh, these guys would actually love vassalization. That's good to know. Um, let's actually pull back you guys, because I know these guys are now ready too. Okay, ungrateful natives, war. And we're going to start annexing you guys, and let's start actually try to... Uh, 
Uh, let's see. You have no diplomat sent. Yeah, let's start actually try to, um, you know, start to convert all these guys into our culture. Which would be really nice, because then we don't have to go to war for everything. Which, you know, I do love war. And Russia has formed everyone. Look at them. The mighty Russians have formed. And it looks like Sweden's almost ready to form Scandinavia. I think they're just missing this part right here. And I think this part right here. But, yeah, they basically, Sweden's basically going to form Scandinavia. Wow. Or maybe they won't, because sometimes the AI is stupid like that. Let's just, and yeah, let's just continue. I don't think I really need to be pausing it. Lose piety, yes. Let's do that. So I don't really care about gaining it right now. Okay, let's get off of this screen. Let's just watch our empire a little bit. Portugal is obviously expanding into usual Brazilian lands and some of the, some of the little uh, Caribbean. So nothing new there. And yeah, our manpower is increasing by it. Oh my goodness, we're getting good manpower right now. Good manpower. It's good. It's not even from our army tradition because our army traditions is like the worst thing we ever have in this game. And oh man, my computer is running a little bit slow right now. It's a little bit annoying, but uh, just gonna have to deal with it. Excellent, yeah, yes, more manpower. Good job, and we have 18.8 ducats. That's good. That's like really good right there. 18.8 ducats. And we're about to go and westernize. We're going to be able to start competing with the other western powers. Oh, man, this is going to be... We're going to be doing fine, people. That's all I got to say. We're going to be doing fine. We just have to wait until we have at least 30k of manpower. That way, if by chance all of our soldiers do get miraculously destroyed in some freak uh, little skirmish. I'm not saying they would, but just in case, we should probably be prepared. Okay. Continue, though. Alright, they converted. Alright, that's what I was wondering. I was like, wait, what? what? What's happening here? Oh, they were just converting. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> just don't send me a death threat that I'm about to be declared war again by the same people again. Slay! <sighs> you know, bless my life. Bless the kings of this empire. They are so against this, and yet they cannot stop it. You know, there's some kind of, like, weird thing I could probably make of uh, social, political, and psychological stuff. Like, the king tries to push the people into a revolutionary idea, but the people are not ready for it. But, I don't know. I don't think I can really think of one right now. Okay. So, we're almost there. We almost have enough manpower to start this. Uh, we... We do have a good European power right next to us, right? Are they not eight... Uh, are they not eight above us again? It is not possible to westernize. Westernize will reduce your while overextending. Ew! Overextension. Okay. Well, I'm about to go get the last little bit of provinces while I'm about to be overextended, so. Yeah. Agricultural revolution! Collect taxes! Lose prestige with gain. Oh, yeah, gain. Yes! Oh, two yeah, get the two base tax. Seriously. Two base tax is gonna pay off so much better in the future. I got now I have a good war chest. Well not a good war chest. Well oh, actually it is a war chest because I'm about to go to war with Westerners. I just got one of my colonies finished up. Mm -hmm. There's one down here that's been giving us so much trouble. Wait, no, not this one up here. This one? Oh, cool. This one finished up here. That means now we have safe access to this land, which is good. And this land over here has not been properly introduced to our empire yet. That's kind of sticky, but yeah. And then you guys, you guys want to be our friend, but you guys are going to have to wait until I annex some people. And we're almost there. We almost got 30k of, 30k of manpower. Once we get that 30k, I think it's time to westernize. Um, and let me make sure I get westernization. Yeah, we're almost, we also have to wait till this little part is going to finish, which is going to finish up in one more year. Hmm. Palatinate did something stupid. 
probably. <laughs> Let's see, how's the Roman Emperor doing? Eh, not exactly doing good in terms of like people liking him. So uh, I don't know how well this Roman Empire is going to do. Alright, so we got 30k of manpower. Now we just have to wait for this last little bit of overextension to be destroyed. And then it's time, people. It's time. Final push. But I think that's it for today's episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.